become your masters of war. Here they build the big guns. Hi guys, I, this is Linda here, and I'd like to read you this article, um, "Murder at Megantic," and this was uh, posted today or yesterday, excuse me. Um, but on Saturday morning, July 6, a bomb wiped out the center of the town of Lake Megantic, Quebec, on Mohawk Territory. Over 60 of the French settlers, of whom we are responsible for, were murdered and disappeared. According to the Great Peace of Montreal, 1701, is under the protection of the Constitution of the Council of the Great Peace. We have a duty to protect all living things. We demand a full investigation of this criminal act of the multinational corporations, Montreal Mine and Atlantic Railway. They were hauling 73 substandard tankers and locomotives carrying toxic crude to Irvine Oil in St. John's, New Brunswick for the U.S. market. Every train that goes through our towns and villages is loaded with enough ammunition, am, ammunition to create a war zone. The train was parked in Nantes. Nobody was in the locomotive. The engineer had locked up, gone to sleep at a nearby hotel. At 11.30, the brakes of the locomotive was mysteriously released. It caught fire and billowed smoke. The, the fire department was called to put it out. The remaining cars were not checked. At 1 a.m., the remaining cars started moving directly downhill into the Lac Megantic Town Center, about 11 kilometers away. A, a, a social gathering was taking place. The train sped towards them, careened off the track, came to a stop near the middle of the town, and blew up like an atom bomb. The people in the town were incinerated. The poisons ran into the lake. Canada ships 73 billion in oil to the U.S. every year, passing them through our towns and villages. Environmental regulations are constantly being removed and or sidestepped. More shipping of crude oil is planned for the east and west coast, and I can vouch for that because they're going to bring the back in oil right through Washington State, right down the road from where I live. The railroad tankers used in the U.S. and Canada are old and dangerous. By deregulation, they don't have to be replaced. Even more unsafe pipelines are being planned. Someone would have to have a strong motive for releasing those brakes. We indigenous people should oversee any investigation of such criminal acts on our land. And for that, I would like to say, I think that we the people and the people of Canada should all start investigating these things and not let the foreign corporations do it because that's who will be in charge of doing this. And they do go on to say foreign corporations normally cover their criminality by paying off the corrupt politicians and lawmakers. They look for the perpetrators before picking their patsy. The victims are forgotten. We will stop the destruction of Mother Earth caused by their toxic economy. These railroads, pipelines, roads, and waterways are creating an ecological destruction on our land, and we are all at risk. Now, they're saying that they want an immediate ban on the transportation of all war materials across the Great Turtle Island. It does violate the Great Council of Peace and the law of the land. Now, let me get on here. I have an opinion on this. And this is what I'd like to say. We people, we the people who live here, my camera's not working right, need to um, maybe start doing this ourselves, taking it upon ourselves to do some investigations. Like, I, I, there's a big problem I have with several things. Drones, the Fukushima, the water supply, the chemtrails. I mean, the list goes on and on. The NDA. Um, the police, how the police treat, they used to be peace officers. Um, you used to tell your children that they were okay to talk to. Now you tell your children to stay away from them and your grandchildren. 
because you may get shot and they may kill your little dog spot or something you know so I'm I'm trying to look for solutions here and I think maybe we ought to get together with our local communities and maybe start having little commissions ourselves and and f say how we feel and then recommend it to those corrupt politicians and corporations in DC or in Canada because I, I'm tired it's North America this land is for everybody um, and maybe we should start doing our own investigations and if everybody did this in local towns they would be overwhelmed and wouldn't know what to do now you know it's just one solution I'm trying to think of and I think I myself are gonna, am, I'm going to get more proactive and try to do things to save Mother Earth and to save humanity and you have to put some differences aside and it is it's hard to do sometimes I know that it is um, because I here in my town will have to deal with um, a very liberal government and if they're not liberal they're Mormons and both of them neither side likes me so but I try to be kind to both sides so in my community I'm just going to again I have reached out all the branches before but again I'm going to reach out in all the branch and try to have discussions with people setting all and, and telling them we have to set all this aside all this control stuff aside and let's use some critical thought and find solutions for humanity because I myself think that we're the, the corporations and the politicians who line their pocket with the corporations money really don't care what happens they don't care about any of the Fukushima the chemtrails the poisoning of our water or anything they just don't care so I'm gonna stand with the Mohawks and hope they do get an investigation going and um, I also would like to say that we should start doing our own investigations that should be our first thing and incorporate as many people as you can locally and it will be hard but maybe we should and I think I'm going to get involved very soon here and, and like I said reach out an olive branch to some of these people who see me as different maybe I'm not so different I love probably just as much as they love their family I love them and um, they need to learn how to set differences aside we're all grown-ups and it's time to sit down and have a talk like grown-ups and I love you all and I wanted to share that with you because I was I heard that they were switching engineers not that the engineer had went and went to sleep in a in a hotel and that there was a fire and nobody checked the rest of the cars it does sound like something happened maybe on purpose to poison the water to kill some people never let a good crisis go to waste that kind of thing there'll be something added you know they'll do something but kid the waters you know the death in the water that's a big deal to the Mohawks especially the death this didn't have to happen so eh. anyway I love all you guys and peace love and truth and tell me what you think below anyway I'm out